Hey guys, welcome to this week's video. I'm Jordan. And I'm Brock. And we're the Camper House. Yeah. We're glad, that's Graham back there. We're glad you guys can join us again this week. Um, this week's video, we, we get a new dehumidifier. Um, been having a lot of condensation issues in the camper, uh, just being that it's cold outside and warm inside. And as you guys know, that creates some condensation. So we got a new dehumidifier we're testing out. We've rebuilt from the ground up because of mold issues and we never want to do that again. If you want to see some details, go check out our blog at thecamperhouse.com. Um, our goal is not to have to do any of that again. Right. Yep. And then we do a, a quick trip up to Black Canyon. It is a international dark sky park. Uh, the boys did the Junior Ranger booklet for the night portion. And so we run up there so they can get their badges for that. And if then what else? Uh, um, I just want to add, there's a few dark sky parks across the country. Um, we'll go ahead and add some information here below and tell you which other ones are too. But if you're close to one, definitely check it out. It's a special patch in addition to their standard Junior Ranger that's a lot of fun. Um, and we went out to Chapita Lake and we've taken you guys out there with us a few times too, but this time it was all iced over and the boys had a blast. So thanks for watching guys. We appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe button. Um, it means a lot to us that you guys are following along on our journey and we'd appreciate if you guys left a comment, you know, any feedback you got, any ways that we can improve our videos. So thanks for watching and we hope you guys enjoy. All right, let's see how much we got. This is just overnight. Water. That's quite a bit of water just overnight. Yeah. So we don't really have any complaints yet about this. It seems to work great. Um, we do have one complaint though. It is a little noisy. Uh, we primarily just run it at night when we're sleeping. We run it a little bit in the mornings, a little bit in the evenings, but primarily, primarily we just run it at night. I'll go ahead and turn it on here and you can kind of see how loud it is. So I don't know if you can hear that. I'm sure you can, but yeah, it is is a little noisy. So if you're trying to watch TV or something, it's uh, quite annoying. But other than that, it takes out, like you saw, it takes out plenty of water out of the air. So we're happy with it. We're gonna keep using it. We are headed hiking today. Who's going hiking with us, guys? Who's my and Elias? Our, our favorite friends. Our friends, Micah and Elias. Oh. They were our neighbors in the Sticks and Bricks in Montrose. So uh, there's a homeschool group that hikes every Thursday. We go pretty often. We haven't been at all lately. So we're going to go catch up with all them, go explore, have some fun outside. It's a toasty 36 degrees today, which is really nice here for this time of year. It is really cold usually, but it's sunny and it's great. So we're going to go enjoy some time outside, huh boys? Yeah. So the area where we're going, uh, there's river frontage, which is really nice, and there's it's like Chapita Lake. Chapita Lake, yeah, um, Chapita Lake Park. There is also like a little eddy, so in the summer they can put their feet in the river, and it's real shallow there, but it's nice. In the winter, we are not going to do that because it is cold. And then um, there is also the area that the actual lake is there's a few different areas that you can get down in the water there too it's just kind of a marshland it's kind of a cool area just finished at Chapita Lake Park. Was it fun, boys? Yeah. We had a good time. And uh, we met the boys making a lot. We met the boys here. And it took a while for them to get here. <laughs> they did, huh? Um, Asher was sleeping. So we hiked around. Part of the lake is frozen right now, which is kind of fun for the kids to get to throw ice or rocks or whatever across the pond. 
and get to hear the sound. Um, that's kind of a good time. They and we broke ice with sticks. They broke that's ice. That's why we broke it. Yeah, they broke a ice lot with of it, a lot of them more than we did of rocks. Okay. Yes. So they broke the edges of oh, the pond. And more than we did of ice. Yeah. And then um, they used the sticks, and you know they were being boys, they were being kids, having fun, getting wet and muddy. Even though it's cold and forty degrees, they didn't care. They had a blast, right, boys? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We are headed to a work function for Jordan. It is kid free. So where are you boys going? Down in Grindel. No, where are you going? Oh. Easty, where are you going? Mr. Mike and Miss Kylie. Mr. Mike and Miss Kylie's. We're going to Nana Grindel soon, but not yet. Mm -hmm. Um. So Mike used to work with Jordan back when we lived in this area years and years ago. So they are hanging out with the boys tonight. The boys are super excited. They love Mr. Mike and Miss Kylie. They have um, mostly Miss Kylie. Mostly Miss Kylie. <laughs> they have very like me, me and Baba. Yeah. And they're feeding the donkey. Yeah, I was gonna say they have donkeys, and so Mr. Mm -hmm. Mike takes them out so that they can do that. They have lots of fun. They have a huge garden. They have a big barn. They sit on a couple acres, and it's just kind of a fun place to go. The kids like to hang out with them. They have some old school toys. What kid doesn't like toys when they're not theirs and there's something new to them to play with. So they're going to have a date night Why Jordan and I have a date night tonight. Um, and we're all pretty excited about it. Right, guys? Yay! <laughs> Wave bye. Yay! We're finally rolling. Date night, here we come. <laughs> So we only went two places yesterday. It's got to be in one of those two places, we really hope. We called the one, they said it's not there, so we're headed up. Um, so the friends that had the boys last night, because they don't have great cell phone service on that part of town, and we're hoping that it's just like laying in the driveway or something, and that's why we can't find it. It's been the last couple hours he's been searching, we've contacted cell phone providers, all kinds of stuff, trying to figure it out. Apparently they can't tell you where your phone has pinged last for security reasons, private reasons, I don't know, uh, whatever. But it doesn't show up on the app. So we are searching. Thank goodness he just got a new phone. And I'm not saying that sarcastically. I'm saying because his old phone, he carried his credit cards, um, his like debit cards with the phone. So at least those aren't missing. What you got over there, Jordan? Found my phone. <laughs> what else you get? Being a brittle. <laughs> so the phone was smushed down in the side of the couch. We called it. Of course, they don't have very good service up here, so um, I don't know if it didn't ring or what happened with it, but they didn't hear it. So we came up, it was right down in there, so thank goodness. And we are headed out on an adventure now that we've spent the whole morning trying to find this stupid phone. Boy, am I glad we found that phone. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> They're expensive, so. I'm glad we found it. Um, but yeah, so now we're uh, we're getting ready. We're gonna in the next scene here. We're gonna go up to Black Canyon. Uh, like we mentioned earlier, it's an international dark sky park. Uh, Black Canyon of the Gunnison is one of the darkest places, um, at least in North America. Uh, so it's a great place to go and see all the scar the stars and constellations and stuff. And they offer a whole variety of activities in the winter time. Um, for one, it's free to get up in there. Um, there's nobody at the at the gate. Um, so it's free to go up there. Uh, you can go rent some snowshoes from them, and I believe that's free as well. It is. You just have to check them out. Yeah, so you can you can get some snowshoes from them. 
and they do have little bitty kid sizes too so um, we were concerned that the boys wouldn't be able to they only have a few pairs of those so make sure you're there um, relatively early and then if you don't have little kids or if you do but chances are you're probably not like going on hours of adventure snowshoeing but they do ask that you are at the office by three o'clock I think it is so that you can be back in time at five when they close and have everything checked back in. Yep. So it's a really cool place to, uh, to check out. So if you guys are in the Montrose, Colorado area, um, it's a cool place to check out. You can you can uh, cross country ski there too. Oh yeah. Yeah. They close off part of the road so you can't drive the whole rim road, um, but they close off part of it. And if there's snow on the ground, people use that as a cross country ski trail. So something else kind of cool to do if you're into cross country skiing. Black Canyon National Park today. It's a really quick trip for us from where we're presently stationary up here, like 10, 15 minutes. But we were up here this summer a while ago and the boys finished the Junior Ranger program and they gave them the the night sky book. Um, okay, it's okay, buddy. They gave them a night sky book and it is one of, we'll put the information below because I can't remember the exact title. But basically, it's one of the darkest places in the U.S., and you can observe the sky great from there. So it's a little book that they can learn about some stuff. So we came up to turn that in and to get their patches. So the boys have those. It's cold up here today. There's snow everywhere. Um, freezing? Windy? Well, it's 31, but there is a little breeze, and the breeze is quite, quite chilly, so we just... We mainly wanted to get their patches done. We pulled over there to one little overlook, took a few pictures and whatnot. But uh, uh, most of the uh, drive is closed uh, for the winter. 
Um, it doesn't cost you anything to come up here in the winter time, but the road just basically goes to the visitor center and back. There's one overlook that you can pull off and look. Um, but they also are starting in January. They do uh, snowshoe trips. And it's free. So not only is it free to get in the park, but the rental is free. And they do have a couple pairs of teeny tiny snowshoes that'll fit our middle guy. So we can get that and then um, I can wear the baby and we can check out the other shoes. And then on Saturdays and Sundays, there's like designated times that they do an activity. And then through the week, oh, sorry, through the week, you can just come up and check out the snowshoes. They ask that you check that you check them. Are we done with those? Purple strips. <laughs> they ask that you check them out no later than 2.30 so that you have time to get out and get back. If you have little kids, it's not going to last that long, so that's no big deal. Right. But the part of the road that's closed off is all covered in snow, and you can see a lot of people have been uh, doing some cross-country skiing. Um, so if you're into that, you can do that. I think there's a couple of places in Montrose that will rent um, cross-country skis. Uh, so go and do that. probably be pretty easy and uh, kind of a cool little place to go cross-country skiing. So it's a fun thing. I mean, we're glad we came up for the day. We're not going to stay long because it's cold. Um, I'm kind of a fair weather outdoors person. I don't mind the cold, but I don't like the wind at all. And so if you guys have been following along for a while, we've shared tons of things that we've done for Christmas. Um, those change every year, but this upcoming one is something we do every year. And we bake Jesus a birthday cake and then we get to eat it. And eating it is by far the most favorite part. Um, but it's a lot of fun for us. Definitely just something a little different, not expensive, but something that's memorable. Um, next week, we are celebrating Christmas again, and it's actually after Christmas in the next video. But as one of the boys' Christmas presents, we get to go ride the uh, Santa train, the Royal Gorge route train, outside of Canyon City under the Royal Gorge. So that's a lot of fun, and we have um, we have a great time doing that. So you'll want to check that out. And then um, winter driving tips. As you know, it's been cold for us for a while. And so we want to share some things that work really well for us. We grew up in the snow. This is nothing new to us. Uh, but, you know, I would really like to try out, um, like, hot weather driving tips in Mexico, something <laughs> like that, if we could arrange that. Um, but thanks for joining us, guys. We really appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like button, that thumbs up. Click the subscribe, click the bell notification so you don't miss a video that we upload. And we so appreciate you joining our journey and we love to share with you guys. So we'll catch you next week. Yep, thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you on down the road. Timer went off, it said it's ready. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear cake? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm ready. Oh, of course you are. It's hot. You gotta wait till you gotta wait till tomorrow.